I lay they bitches, they mad. Oh. I lay they niggas, they mad. I walk in the bank in the lab. Stay out of bed. Yeah. Ass on my wrist. Mama, like, when you do this? Fill up, baby, fill up. Shorty know I'm on it, pull up a bomb me When I rub a bomb bomb it. come fuck with the top shot Money on me, no Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel It's Jatera Brianna If you don't know now, you know So go ahead and like, comment, and share, and subscribe Today's video, as you can see by the title Is gonna be a chit chat Get ready with me, hair and makeup I'll show you guys how I go from crazy Like literally, I was looking crazy, okay Like crazy how i go from looking crazy to cute so yeah if you like what you see so far and you want to see how i did it then make sure you keep on watching oh my god i look absolutely crazy okay i look crazy i mean y'all know every single time i come to y'all looking somewhat like this y'all know that we're about to do a hair tutorial right right so let me get myself together um, because this is embarrassing, okay? If you saw the intro of this video when I look cute, then you know I'm about to put on a wig. You know I'm about to get myself together, okay? So, I'm about to go and do my straight backs. And I'm going to come back and then we're going to get this show on the road. Because right now, I feel a little insecure. Really, nigga? I'm going to go get myself together and I'm going to come back, okay? Okay, so I have done some straight backs, some quick straight backs. Okay? I was parting my hair with these nails hello they came in handy um they look a little crazy but you know it's flat <laughs> she's flat oh my god i'm showing y'all too much i got my straight backs and i have a wig cap on this is the wig cap i have i got it from amazon okay i got my base ready so now it's time to slay okay it's time to slay here is the wig that we will be wearing today. She um is batty wave. This is probably like 18, 20, 22 inches, I believe. Um, I made it myself, so I make all of my wigs. She has an elastic band, she's a full frontal. I will put the card up here to the video of where I did this entire the wig look. Um, yeah, I forgot her name. This isn't Tiana Taylor, this isn't TT. It's not Yonce, it's not Lucy. Yasmin? Is her name Yasmin? I think her name is Yasmin. I name all my legs. But anyway, this is her, this is she, she's cute, and we're about to put her on, okay? I gotta fix the middle part, make her flat and all that extra. We're gonna do it, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there, don't worry. Don't worry, boo so first thing I like to do is get some clips. Finally found my rat tail comb. Hello. I'm gonna get my comb and I'm going to section an area in the front, okay? Like about here. So this is what you should be looking like. But all you're gonna need is some got to be free spray and a blow dryer. Okay? So just like this. Low, medium, and I'm gonna blow dry it. Once that's done, I like to get a spray bottle full of water, just water, and I spray my comb, and I comb the hair, so the hair can have some movements, but I'm not spraying the lace, because I don't wanna spray the lace, because the lace will come right back up. So, yeah, my hair is still super poofy and it looks crazy, but it's glued, you know, it ain't going nowhere. I'm tugging on it. It ain't lifting anywhere. It's secure, and that's what we need, okay? So, now we're going to flatten it out because, obviously, it looks crazy, right? Right. So, what you're going to do is get your handy dandy, what is this called? Hot comb. So, you're going to get your hot comb, and while that is heating up, we're going to define our part, okay? So what I'm gonna do is section my hair in half and I'm gonna tap the side up like so. And on this side, 
the first thing I'm going to do is separate this hair right here because as you can see I'm not sure if you can but the, my tracks start right here so we need to make sure that this hair is always covering that area you know what I'm saying so I don't think you can see any tracks I think that looks really really good so now I'm gonna take this section down and I'm going to make parts. Make sure you don't nick your ear. Oh my God, please don't nick your ear, okay? And I'm just going to flatten the hair. Okay, so I'm back and we're looking way flatter than before. Super, super duper flat now. We coming together, right? It's coming together, it's coming together. This side can be a little bit more flatter, honestly, truly. So, I don't think I can do this without using some type of mousse. So, even though this is, this can't to wave whip curly mousse is to define your curls, I'm going to put a little bit on the head right here because like this is where it is poofy the most and I'm going to comb that down with a regular comb and then I'm just going to get my hot comb and try to press that out as good as possible because this needs to be flat, okay? All right, so now we're gonna get our curling wand. I have it set on 410 degrees. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's, it's just like dirty. But I'm gonna let this warm up. And while that heats up, I'm gonna take some more of this mousse and I'm going to start pushing the hair back. So I'm gonna put it on the front where my edges are and I'm just going to comb backwards. like so and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side so now I'm gonna take one of these rapid strips these are really a good investment I use these for a lot of different things I'm gonna get the strip and I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna tie it as tight as possible so I'm brushing their hair out what I'm gonna do is section this half oh and I'm gonna clip 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 it up clip clip it up oh it's gonna fall right back down okay great we love that we love that i got my wand my curling wand from ulta it was like 30 to 40 dollars i believe it's super super good it's super super hot so be careful if you have this one as well oh my gosh she's so flat and so oh, okay anyways i'm getting excited i'm about to curl my hair i want to go for like loose beach wave curls you know what i'm saying but yeah this is super duper self-explanatory i'm probably going to speed through this part like crazy because all we're doing is wrapping the curl i mean wrapping the hair around the wand to curl it i'm gonna hold it on there for like five seconds honestly i don't want tight tight curls so one two three four five i'm gonna let it go and this is the kind of curl that i want looks amazing and I'm just about to do that all over my head. We're finished. <laughs> So no, y'all. All right, so I play too much. So we're done with the curls. This is what they looking like. Um, they're a little bit curlier than I expected. If that makes any sense. So what I'm gonna do to get rid of that is I'm gonna get my wide tail comb. Let me scoot back for y'all so you can see the whole thing. And I'm just going to softly comb off the curls so it could give me that beach wave that I was going for. Yeah, that looks, it looks a little better. That looks, yes, that looks good. Okay. For this all, we're looking super flat though. Y'all see how flat this looks? This is amazing. Okay. So I'm just going to get my comb and pull the hair up basically. So now we're going to go into edges. I don't want too many baby hairs. 
I think what I'm gonna do is go back into this mousse and I'm gonna get my comb. I'm just gonna comb some pieces out. And put some mousse right there. That's all I want y'all for baby hairs. But yeah, this looks good you guys. If you have enjoyed this video so far, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, okay? Don't be coming here getting all my tips and tricks and whatnot. And you know, not supporting the kids. So now we're gonna go into makeup because this is a hair and makeup get ready with me. So I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and I'm gonna come back when those are done. Bow. Biggity, biggity, bow, okay? Brows are done. Um, I still have a little bit of concealer on the back of my hands from when I was, you know, concealing my brows. So now I'm going to use that same concealer as a base for my lids because I am doing a little bit of eyeshadow today. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, you guys, I really don't know exactly what kind of eye look I'm going for, but I am going to go into this new Morphe um, eye brush palette. So, yeah, this is the Morphe All I Want six-piece brush collection and bag. Yes, it's super-duper cute. Um, this is what it looks like on the back. These are the brushes that I ordered from Ulta. This is super cute. You open it, it's right on the inside. It's cute packaging. I was supposed to save this for a haul that I was gonna do. Um, this video will probably get posted before that haul. This is cute, the brush say Morphe at the bottom. It's a gold type of feel. This is really cute. I think um, this is probably would be like really good for my crease. Oh, yes, oh, I love new brushes. I love new anything, honestly, truly. Um, and this is a fluffier brush. This is probably a brush that I'm gonna go into first just for like my entire lid. Ooh, super cute, super cute, super cute, super cute, super cute, super cute, super cute. So I'm going into the Balls Mood Palette by Morphe 35M. I'm always using Morphe products, but Morphe has yet to spark to me what's really going on with really tea. What's really tea, what's really good. Yeah, I think I want to go into this color first, this gray, orangey color. Oh, this is very pigmented. Wow. Okay, we're really going to have to like blend that the out okay so I think I want to go in with the other brush from the new Morphe brush kit and I'm gonna start with the brown I'm gonna start with this brown Yes, it's showing. Yeah, oh, I think I like this. Okay. Why y'all didn't tell me my lips was dry? Y'all really not my friend. I'm probably the only one that like sticks their whole lip into their Carmax to put it on. But I like when it looks really smooth. I don't like when it looks like you didn't dug your, your nail wall in it. So that's why I put it on that way. But why y'all ain't tell me my lips was chopped? Y'all ain't real. Y'all ain't really my friends. What y'all think? Y'all like it? Y'all like it? Okay, but I think it needs a little bit of pop. A little pop. So, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade. It's like shimmery. You see that? You see that? Let me give you a little swatch, okay? Let me give you a little swatch for the girls. Um, is that really picking up how I want it to? a shimmer but it's not it's not <laughs> it's not picking up how I thought it was going to but let me see I just want to like pop it in the center of my eye you can barely see that but I want it some more so I'm gonna go in with this color it's like a really yellow gold 
I heard you. Okay, 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 okay. This looks good. This looks good. This looks good. Ah! About time I got the color that I actually wanted. I was scared to go into that one because I thought it was going to be too gold. But this is popping on my eye. Really nice. Um, I'm doing it really messy. I don't want it to look too uniform. I'm also going to go back in and blend this out. So it really doesn't matter. I'm going to add more brown and more orange. But yeah, ow, I'm giving you sunset. Giving you sunset vibes, I feel like. Do I put on lashes now or no? Also, I want to use some lashes that are supposed to be for my freaking haul. Y'all don't understand. These lashes are perfect. Look at this. Look how fluffy they are. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push Up Collection 3 Dink. 3 Dink. 3D Volume Lash. Hello. Basically, I'm going to come back with my lashes on, okay? Because this is going to take too long. Okay, okay, okay. Now the kid really feeling herself, okay? Because these lashes are popping, okay? They're popping. I'm about to prime my face. This primer always comes out heckle weird, but it feels so good once you put it on your skin. It's crazy. Skin has been on fleeky, fleek, you feel me? Like, if I didn't want to fully slay today i wouldn't have even put on foundation like i wouldn't even put on foundation because like i said my skin has been doing numbers honey but i'm about to go dip my beauty blender so i'm gonna be right back foundation on do i look light or is it just me is this matching make sure you get your neck and your ears guys is this matching is it matching is it matching i think it's matching okay Moving on to concealer. I'm just gonna like let this area dry down a little bit before I blend it out. Okay, we're all blended. We looking good, you guys. I'm putting on this concealer. It's a cream concealer, but it's really dark. Oh my god, my lace is showing. And I'm gonna use this to contour. However, if you saw one of my videos a really long time ago, y'all know that the top kind of like popped off. So I have to use something else to put my contour color on with. Cause the applicator popped right off, but you know, we gonna make it work. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I'm gonna get this handy dandy thick ass brush. It's, it, she's really thick, like she, she's really thick. And I'm just going to take that color and blend it all into my skin. So yeah, I gotta make sure all that is nice and blended before I put on my powder because I like to use the same sponge. So, speaking of powder, always spill it like i can never open this freaking powder without making a mess try something new today with my makeup I think I'm gonna try for the very first time because I have never done this before okay okay you listening are you listening okay I think I'm gonna try to do faux freckles what you think I want to try it and I think it'll look really good with this like look that I'm going for today ah we are coming together, honey. We look really good. Okay, so anyways, um, now I'm going to spray my face with some setting mist from Morphe. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna do that before I go in with the highlighter. So I'm gonna go in with this. Okay. 
sorry. Hope I didn't break it. I'm so clumsy, y'all. But I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty, if it's going to show, highlight in Me, Money, and Hustler, baby. And I'm just going to blend both of those together and highlight the fuck out of my face because I love a good highlight. Give it to me, baby. Give it, give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Give it, give it to me. Uh-huh. 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 I'm stupid. So I'm going to start with the same brown that we used above our, on the top of our crease. And I'm going to go and smoke it out. Smoky. Not smoky. Smoky. Not smoky. This looks good. I'm glad I did it. Now we're going to go in with some mascara. Caution Extreme Lash Mascara from Hourglass. And I'm just going to coat the mask under my bottom lashes, okay? We look like a baddie, okay? We look good and I didn't even do my lip yet. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl. This is an eyeliner, actually. I thought, I definitely thought I picked up a lip liner. But it's an eyeliner, but I don't think it makes a difference. Yeah, it's in the color Deepest Brown. I'm gonna line my lips. Now, I think I'm going to go for a nude, so I'm going to take this nude lipstick that has brown lip liner on it already. And I'm just going to put that into the center. Now that I got that one, it's looking like not the right shade of nude for me. So I'm going to take the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie, and I'm just going to put that on top because this, this is more pinky. And that one was like really cool tone. So let's hope that this like balances that out. It kind of did. It's still a little cool tone. So, and I always layer my lip products like this anyways. But now I'm going to take this Revlon lip gloss in Smoky Topaz. And I'm just going to put that in the center because this is like really pinky. Okay, and now I'm like, do I stop here or do I go in for the faux freckles? I think I want to do it. I think I want to do it. Why, why not? I think I know how to fix it if I don't end up liking it. So we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to do it. I'm going to go in with the same Morphe palette. And um, I'm not sure if it was Damien who I saw do this. But basically you take a... um. You take a bobby pin that has like the rounded end to it and this way you're doing like two dots at a time also um and you're just gonna tap it into a brown eyeshadow so i'm just gonna take it and i'm gonna press it into my skin like that it's very faint i may have to go into a darker shade Okay, so I like the way it's looking, but obviously it looks really like fake. So I'm gonna take my sponge and just really press it into my skin. I don't know. It's kind of cute. I'm not used to it. It looks a little. I don't know. Like it looks weird, but it looks cool. So I think it just gotta take some getting used to. But yeah, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Comment down below what you want me to do next. What type of look, hair, makeup, you know I got y'all. So yeah, here's the final product. Cute little faux freckles. 
you know, bomb hair. She ain't going nowhere. Yes, let me stop rapping and let me close out this video. Bye. <laughs> fill up, baby, fill on me.